Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is David Ross of Ross Video. Hello. Hello. Hi. So can you tell me, where does the company stand right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Well, there's two, two ways to look at that. One of the ways is we are really in the content creation business and all the things around content creation. But from the point of view of where we stand in the market, you could, it was interesting. Somebody wrote an editorial earlier this year saying that Ross Video is a cornerstone of the industry. And I, it's the first time I'd heard that, and I, uh, I thought it was actually quite appropriate, so I thought I'd mention it here. Absolutely, and what trends are you noticing as far as your technology right now in the media and broadcasting industry? The trend is towards fragmentation. A lot of people would love to hear that we're going towards convergence or consolidation of some sort, but really, it's going in many different directions at once. We're still seeing a transition from HD to UHD. We're seeing a transition from, you know, uh, from HDR to, you know, to HDR. But we're also seeing a transition from SCI to IP, 2110, but we're also seeing more NDI. We're also seeing on-prem com compute, but we're also seeing cloud. And all of those are happening at once. We're also seeing some vendors, some, some customers that are going from SCI to 2110. We're also seeing some customers that are going from 2110 back to SDI, which is also very interesting to see the, the, the dynamics. So our role here at Ross is to be able to say yes to all of those customers and make all those customers feel very comfortable with the decisions that they are making. Of course, and you have a lovely booth here right now. What are you highlighting here at IBC? Well, the last time we were at IBC with product was 2019. And this company is now twice the size that it was then. And we've made probably four acquisitions since then as well. So one of the things you want to see is just come here and see, wow, you have LED, like what I see, what we have behind us. That's, that's new. You, SpiderCam is now part of Ross. That's incredible. You bought PrimeStream and now you have a full media asset management portfolio. That's incredible. But wait a minute. Ultrix, which we knew before, now has a 24RU version and has a production switcher in it and so much more. What's this hyper-converged thing you're talking about? That's new since the last time you know anybody got to see this. And you just take a look at all the different products that we didn't have before. What are we highlighting? Almost everything. And so can you tell me a little bit more about your latest developments and who you might be targeting with those? Oh, so the story behind everything that we do at Ross is not just to make products that are very competitive when they stand alone, but they re the real power is when they're all put together into solutions. And a solution really has to be targeted at customers. So if you take a look you know, over there, maybe you'll take, do some B-roll or something like that, you'll see our sports and live events area where we're showing what's going on with stadiums and venues and things like that. And then you go over here and you see news and then you see people doing virtual sets and augmented reality and you see like eight different Ross products coming together to create great solutions and news workflows and so forth. So, kind of doing it all. <laughs> what would you say the future of Ross is? Well, uh, one of the ways you can understand the future is to take a look at the past. And I joined Ross Video all the way back in 1991, and we are now 200 times bigger than we were when I joined this company, and we've grown on average 17% a year, except recently we've been growing even faster. So my gut feel is that, you know, you come back here next year and the year after that, we will be bigger. We may have done a few more acquisitions, and we're gonna have even more cool stuff to look at. It's gonna be like, if you love technology, you love solutions, you're going to be like a kid in a, in, a, in a toy shop, so it'll be fun. I can definitely see that coming. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Always a pleasure.